Their darlings is so much more than that. It's thoda dark, thoda comedy. It, like we all love to hear this word, and we totally believe in this one. It's an entire package, and I promise you that. You know, I just want to, on behalf of Mr. Khan, Gauri Khan, and all of us at Redchilies, uh, sort of express our excitement about this morning in particular of being here and having been part of the project and <clears throat> been a big uh, part of the partnership. Hello everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I'm very excited and very nervous. Hu, but because I'm not only here as an actor, I'm here as a producer. And I have to thank Gaurav and Red Chilies for being so supportive of this idea and actually pushing me to do this along with you. Eternal Sunshine Productions is my uh, uh, production house. Ka naam. Boutique production house. It's still very cute and small. Uh, but the symbolis symbolism is sunshine. So I am going to sun for you today. And shine to shine. I hope. Yes. Uh, but literally I have come dressed like the sun for you. Um, I've taken over. No, 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 as you should. I promise you, between you and me, they'd rather listen to you than me. No. <laughs> this is really fine. No, but you know, Alia, this is great. We have tons of conversations to make over here. We want to know more about uh, the film, uh, the fact that you're a first time producer, and to many, many more. But most importantly, this film wouldn't have been possible without a really important person. And I'm going to let you do the honors to invite her on stage. Yes. So, this is Jasmeet K. Reem's first film as a director and I really want you all to give her a lot of love and the hugest round of applause because without Jasmeet none of this would have been possible. Eternal sunshine may not have happened in the year of 2022 if it wasn't for Jasmeet. So without further ado I want to bring on our darling director who I director Sahib and I am the producer Sahib. But director Sahib Jasmeet, please come on stage and please guys give her a round, big round of applause. Uh, it's my first film so it's very very special. I want to thank uh, Udhan Sunshine and Red Chilies for giving me the freedom to make this film the way I want to. I wanted to. And giving me a fantastic cast and crew to be able to collaborate with. So thank you. And uh, hope we may, we've all made this with a lot of love. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Uh, first and foremost, hello darlings, um, I'm so happy to be here to share stage with such amazing people and uh, just me, uh, Alia, Gaurav, everyone, uh, Netflix, Monica, I mean this would not have been possible without anyone and uh, who's going to come and join us soon. So I really hope you all feel as much love for darlings as we did and we do for it and thank you for being here and yeah absolutely and you look absolutely yeah. dashing today uh, for many reasons and I'm, I'm hoping that uh, the most important reason is darlings how do you feel about being on stage today for such a wonderful film uh, i feel very good about this but at the same time i'm very very nervous and partly shivering inside these why layers why why are you shivering I think I have a, like a fear of public talking. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I think I get rid of the public. <laughs> no, if I say something, I sound wrong. If I don't say anything, I sound wrong. So, what if I give you a heart? Will that be right? Or I do it. Okay, I'll do it. But you have to do it. So, are you ready? Yeah, at, at some point. But before we get down to the talking. Darlings came to me. And when the relation started, I thought, Yeah, now. I mean, where are you going? Because I... They know what the film is about. I was totally blank slate. And actually, 2019, when I met uh, Jasmeet and Gaurav, I had a very bad schedule. So I, but I have this thing that I will listen. I will listen to every script and hear every narration or read every script because you never know. Cut to the story started. It started like a normal story, normal, normal. Suddenly, it just shifted gear and how. And I was like, from here, I was here. And I was like that the whole narration, which is. I was like so surprised and I am very rarely surprised. So then I was like, okay, 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 no, okay, okay. We have to do this. And then very naturally I was like, okay, listen, I think I would like to be a producer on this as well. 
And Gaurav at that moment was extremely supportive. He was like, that's a fantastic idea. We must do this together. And then Shahrukh called me and he said, I usually co-produce, but I will do it with you. And we will do it with you. We will do it with you and it will be quite good and it will be one for the memories. And recently he saw the film and he messaged me and he said, in typical Darling's lingo, thanks you Darling's for doing these movies. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming that by the 6th of August all of us are going to be speaking more in plural. I hope. <laughs> Remember that one guys, yeah, all reviews in plurals which also means many many stars guys. You, I've been very curious ever since I've heard about Eternal Sunshine as a name for your production company. Now, uh, why Eternal Sunshine and who came up with it? I don't remember. I think I only must have come up with it. <laughs> uh, there is a film called Eternal Sunshine of Spotless Mind, which is yes. one of my favorite movies. But actually, that's not the reason. The reason is I believe movies are eternal. And I love sunshine. Even if you see me on Instagram, because that's the only way people see me right now, <laughs> if you have to see me, I'm always using the sun emoji. So I love sun, I love the sunshine, and I believe the warmth that the movies and cinema gives us is eternal. So eternal sunshine. Oh, nice. And you know, we're on the subject of uh, titles. So you know, many different titles must have come up, uh, come up or was Darlings your first choice, Jasmine? The dialogue, there's a dialogue in the film which came first. And I can't give away spoilers, but there is somebody who calls somebody who is there. <laughs> so after that, I decided the film should be called Darlings. That, that's how it happened. There were no other titles before. And it's great when you see a great teaser and a great trailer and then you see the wonderful cast, you just know that it fits in completely. Um, Venki, I'm going to just... Um Jasmeet had spent a lot of time in Bike Club. Uh, I met somebody who was from there I and mean, she got me to meet this person. I just wanted to understand the lingo and I just wanted to get a feel of it. And I think the similar process uh, happened with Vijay, of course he didn't know how it went with him. And uh, you know, but I, I, I mean, I'm a spontaneous actor and I think everyone here is. Also, you can't over rehearse, uh, that's what I believe. Uh, and uh, yes, we do our reading and we blog, but then once the camera goes on, I think there's just something that happens. It's magic. It's magic. Completely. Especially when I, when I see the trailer, it's magic. It's not always magic when it comes to, you know, sometimes you see something and you know that, okay, this is it. But when the three of you are together, or we haven't mentioned even uh, Roshan Matthew, who's not here uh, today. He's busy and, uh, you know, I'm sure he would love to be here, but he's not. Very integral part of the film. But you know that there's magic being created. Uh, yes, and I have to tell you the atmosphere on set. I mean, there were days we could have wrapped around two hours earlier if we didn't laugh so much in between scenes. Because we just, we keep cracking up and then like, Achabi, please, let's do the scene. You know, it was like, Jess was indulging us like children and then she was like, please, let's like get on with it. But a complete blast. No, it really sounds like it, it goes from intense to like, you know, understanding the world to then having such a great time and overstaying on the <laughs> You gotta love the girl. Look at her. I'm thinking. I don't think so. No. It's seamless. No. As an actor, I will always be... Uh, no. Nothing's changed. No. And now that you've turned a producer, Ala, with a story like this, uh, tell me how important was it to have that female gaze because this story is so sensitive and thankfully you had a female director too. But as a producer, what were your inputs to it and do you think... Uh, we really wanted to shoot this film in a very tight schedule. We shot it in 42 days. Also, it was just after the second wave. There was a, there was a fear that you know anything can happen again, and also Shefali's dates and Vijay's dates and all the combination and all of that. So there were days that were overpacked. Like we were like doing a lot of work in one day, and I was like, "Kya kar rahe ho yaar? Ek aur din use karte hai. Thoda sa, you know, move it to tomorrow. We are not being able to get the time to think." And the first lady literally told me, like, "You're the producer. You should not be asking for this. Like just do as much work as you can in one day." And I was like, no, for me, I'm on set, I'm always an actor and I, will, I don't think that producer thought even came to my mind. Um, but post the film, uh, when, after we wrapped the film, usually as an actor you move on to your next film and then you are cut off and then you just join in when the film is releasing. I didn't cut, I couldn't cut off. And I consider myself 
about anything. I don't understand the numbers, but I will always be a creative producer. Um, so I was only involved in the creative part of it, and I had just me was really lovely, extremely like welcoming with my overbearing opinions at times. But we had such a lovely time doing this together, and it just made it's made me learn so much about the movies, and I respect. I mean, I always had so much respect for every department and everything that goes into making the movie, but I think it's gone even more now because I've literally been there behind the scenes. Yeah, and, and you know what you said about cutting the cord when it comes to you know finishing a film and then um, then coming back for promotions and attaching yourself again to a film as opposed to this one. Yeah, it's like choosing between your own children. I cannot pick my favorite characters. I love and adore all of them. I mean, not just Badru, uh, Shamshu, Hamza, and Roshan, but here, but uh, the other characters also, so I cannot pay. So I love all of them. Sorry. Double or triple? <laughs> triple, triple. <laughs> Sorry. Triple. Congratulations. Oh, Specify what, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm very confused when people say congratulations. Your marriage, your marriage, A and B, you've conceived, God bless you. And turning a producer, congratulations. Thank you, B. I guess. I think I, maybe it is in my upbringing to go for something very brave and something different. Um, but I also feel like your first film as an actor chooses you. Somehow my first film as a producer as well has chosen me. It just came to me and it just felt... So it's not like I made a brave decision to take a decision and then I went seeking for darlings and I caught it. It came to me, it was a brave script to write and a story to write. And it was just exciting and an honor for me, in fact, to take it up. See, I don't understand this male-female gaze. Gaze is gaze. A chia puri, matlab, or correct, they are wrong. So, the fact that it is written, just me and Parvez have together written the script of Darlings and it's directed by a female director, but I don't think that has anything to do with the fact that the story was still, it's, it's the it's where the stories come from. So that's like the more of the creative gaze. And my gaze is more of just instinctive the way the audience will enjoy it. So that includes male, female, maybe everything. So, you know, I don't think that has anything to do with it. No, I think, see, as, I, as I was mentioning earlier, this, our outlook is all about partnerships and what is appropriate. And so when, when we were having the discussion internally, as well as you know, it's funny that Alia just mentioned that what her father had said, Mr. Batsar had said about taking it to. And so that instinct just reinforced our thought process and internally when we discussed this, we felt that this type of a film would, with our long-standing partners, would probably be the ideal way for us to deliver it to the audience. So I think that decision became quite, quite easy and obviously the pandemic had something certainly to do with it and we had had uh, we'd had certain types of you know post correction that we had to do in our whole thought process, but we're just very fortunate and it's all come together brilliantly. Ali, I'm saying he's another Yeah, I'll take it. G, G. I mean, what film is it? Like Angu Bai or Master? G. It's only for big people. Or darlings? Like Angu Bai or Master? 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 Or darlings? Ji, uh, I think Darlings fits perfectly on a platform like Netflix. He is interview to watch him. It's not that kind of film that I need to see on the big screen. I can see it in the comfort of my home. I can see it alone. I can see it alone. I can see it alone. I can you know, watch it on my way to work. It's that kind of intimate watch. And as Monica said before, I believe it has the potential to cut across the diaspora. So on day one, you are reaching so many homes across the globe. And that is such a story that when we watch content on Netflix, someone is watching Korean content, someone is watching Spanish content, you are consuming all kinds of content regardless of the language. So that's our hope and dream with the film like Darlings because the subject of its subject and the message I feel is a very universal message. Exciting part because if you keep doing what you're always doing, you're not going to do anything, try anything different. Uh, I think the fact that it is a new genre, uh, it is put together so cleverly. 
you know, and so delightfully, uh, it doesn't miss a beat. And uh, you know, to to have so many powerful voices from the writer, director, from the on-screen performers, from the producer, and then to really marry it with, I feel, and very humbly, so a platform like Netflix, it really is the right combination to be taking to the audience. And I think this is one of those films which is relevant uh, for every audience, not just the Indian audience. It is relevant for every audience member out there across the world. So uh, it is not a risk at all. I only do it. Not only the idea. <laughs> the not only the idea. Direction. Now the direction come about. Let me direction. <laughs> Thank you. How did direction come about to you? Just me? Please give this answer. <laughs> no, this script was written because I wanted to direct it. So I was very clear from the beginning. And I took it to Gaurav. And, uh, and we took it to Alia. And they had faith in me. And they let me make this film. So yes. Also, I want to add that she just means she's been writing for many, many years. I've been writing. And she's actually been trying to make a film for how many years? Seven, eight years. So you know, there's like that 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 patience is this that she's worked like she's helped with this script all come out on the screen. There's another script I had written which I was trying to make and that was taking time. So I wrote darlings and somehow these lovely people came on board. See, I don't choose. In my opinion, casting should always first, foremost, last be the director's prerogative. But if I'm asked for my suggestion, I I do give my suggestions. And um, it was a no-brainer in my opinion when I read the script. To me, first, I was like, "This is a mother-daughter story." That's what first jumped out to me. So I said, "You know, whoever plays the mother is supposed to be very important because it's she's a young mother. So they've got a very, very interesting dynamic. It's almost like a friendship." And both, just me and I said, "It'll be great if Shivali will be able to do it." And it all worked out perfectly. Similarly with Vijay. I suggested, I said, what do you think of Vijay? And I didn't know that Jasmeet was already like in her head as if when she was writing it, she had thought of Vijay. So it all just worked out very, very, very smoothly. And when it came to Roshan, Jasmeet found him, they did a Zoom um, um, audition. She showed me his audition as well and I was totally blown because he performed one of my favorite scenes in the movie and he was absolutely fantastic. He's so unassuming, he's so brilliant, he's so simple. So yeah, I give inputs when asked but I, it, choosing is not up to me. So we did discuss it in fact and I, and I actually said if you don't make me produce it, I will be very upset, you know. So if you don't want to take me as an actor, it's totally fine. And he said, no, no, I need you. I need you, you're a tyrant. I need a tyrant. So, as a joke, before anybody else gets whatever. So, um, of course, I I will instantly, um, as I said, I'm a creative producer. So, I have creative inputs writing stage with AK produce. I completely agree with you. I mean, uh, Denny Crime, Netflix, it's, it's actually, like you correctly said, given me a completely new life. And uh, it's been the high point of my career. It's changed the face of my career and it's been a learning point and uh, yes there's DC then there was a Jeep Dasta, then there was uh, there's Darlings and uh, there's DC again uh, I am I love this association and I'm sure we're going to have a very long living relationship I totally love it okay. Alia uh, you are a darling of Bollywood and, and media maybe because the reason why is that you are one of those fearless person who doesn't shy away giving away your opinions. So first we have darling, then we have Brahmastra, now Rocky Rani ki and Prem Kahani. Uh, talking about Rocky Rani, your co-star in Racing has recently trolled for you know for posing you on social media. What do you want to say about it? I'm sorry, I'm getting a little nudged to like not take that question unless Alia. Let Alia do that. I don't like anything negative said about my favorite Ranbir Singh. So I question ko matlab bardash bhi nahi kar sakti hu um, i love him he'll be eternally a favorite to every one of us actually and he's given us so much at the movie so we should only give him love aapko unki taraf se koi do's and don'ts bataye gaye nahi kyunki jaise ki maine kaha main main ek creative I think of myself more as a creative producer but yes actually before taking this role on and before you know 
were, you know, signing on, darlings, and um, I mean, we had signed it all, but I just wanted to get more opinions. I gave the script to my father, uh, and unko bahut achhi lagi. And um, in fact, unhone pehle kaha tha, and I think actually I wish I had recorded this conversation. Because in 2019, mein unhone kaha tha pandemic se pehle ke mujhe lagta hai tumhe ye film Netflix Netflix bhi leke jaani chahiye. At that time, he had said it. He said, I think it's that kind of film. I will do very well on this kind of platform. Or I think this is a Netflix film. Honi hai. Very, you know how my father speaks and all that. So, in fact, we had discussed it and it all worked out so beautifully. Yeah. Shefali ji, I want to go to the world of television or film. Every time you have appreciated it. You have also 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 appreciated it. जब बात वेब की आती है तब आपका पहले क्या सोच थी और क्या उस आपके हिट पर हिट देने के बाद वो सोच बदली है थैंक यू एंड मेरी सोच विद वेब इट ओपन माय हेड पर्टिकुलरली आई मीन यस आई वॉच शोज बट डीसी कंपलीटली ब्लू मी एस अ शो एंड देन इट वाज ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स सो आई हैव नथिंग बट द बेस्ट Sensations uh, for Netflix or for a OTT platform. Sensations. Choice feelings and sensations, sensations are coming. Very warm sensations are coming towards OTT platforms and Netflix. So uh, I didn't have any kuch alag tha or kuch alag hua. I mean, it's only gone beyond imagination. Really, truly. Well, not at all. I mean, like I said, I, I, I was. I'm so grateful and thankful. Incidentally, my first film, Student of the Year, also was Red Chilies. You know, Red Chilies was also part of that along with Dharma Productions. Similarly, my first film as, an, uh, as a producer, I didn't have to think about it. In fact, Gaurav was like, even with Shah Rukh, when he said, he said, you don't worry about it, just have fun and this will be great. And they just like held my hand through the technical producer aspect and like I said we shot just after the second wave so what are COVID protocols we follow karne pade. we were in a bubble it was very very tight it was very high you know high stress at that time but they just managed it so beautifully so that I could focus as an actor uh, and like I said I've learned so much in this whole process